Hey, it's Dave from CG Shortcuts. Today, we're going to do this. We're animating solid and dashed lines in After Effects. So we've got a nice, quick, easy tutorial today. A few people have asked me how I animated the lines on the CG Shortcuts intro, this thing right here. So today, I'm going to show you. Let's start by drawing a line. We'll come up here to our pen tool and we'll just click a couple of points here and make something kind of curvy. We don't want that white fill, so let's come down to our shape layer and we'll pop open the contents, shape one, and we'll grab fill one here and we'll just delete it. Okay, the ends of our line are a bit flat, so let's uh, round those off. We'll pop open stroke and under line cap, we'll select round cap. If we press control shift H, we'll hide all of our handles and we'll be able to get a better look of this. And there you go, that's our finished curve. Let's start animating. We'll hit Control shift h again to bring back our handles. And we'll click this little arrow next to add here and come up and choose trim paths. And if we come down here and pop that open, you'll see how we could go about animating this. If we play with the start and end in the trim paths, it animates along the line. So let's set keyframes at zero for both of these. Then we'll scooch forward a bit and set keyframes again at 100%. If we play that back, you'll notice that nothing happens. That's because the in and out points are running together at the same time. But if we offset the keyframe just a little bit, we'll get a nice animated line. And of course, if you wanted to make these longer, you just change the distance between these two keyframes. Okay, I wanna speed this animation up, so let's bring those closer together. And we'll also add an easy ease by pressing F9. And that'll just ease the animation in and out a bit, just to make it look a bit smoother. So that's your basic animated line, but what if you wanted it to be a dash line? Well, I'm glad you asked, because I'm gonna show you now. Let's scroll down here a little bit and find dashes, and we'll hit the little plus icon. Let's just go to a frame where we can see our line. Control Shift H to hide those handles again. And if we come down here and adjust the dash amount, you can see some nice dash lines. But if we press play, you'll see that our dotted lines are moving along with the stroke. I don't know about you, but I don't want that. Let's see if we can find a way to keep our dots in place, but still have an animated line. There might be other ways, but this is how I did it. Let's start by duplicating our shape layer. You can do that by pressing Ctrl D. We'll hide the old one. And in our new one, we'll pop open contents, shape, and go down to stroke and remove the dashes by clicking here. So we're back to our basic solid line, as you can see there. And we're gonna use this as a mask to drive our dashed lines. So let's hide our solid line and we'll make our dashed line visible again. And we want our dashed line to be one solid full length line. Let's click in the middle here so we can see what's going on. And we'll turn these off and set start to zero and end to 100%. Now we have our full unanimated line. And all we need to do to set up our mask is to click here and choose alpha mat. And that's gonna use the alpha channel of our top layer to mask our bottom layer. And if we play that back, you'll see that our dashes stay in place this time. Let's rename our layers. We'll call this one dashed and this one line. You can do that by just hitting enter. Okay, you might notice that there's one little problem with this setup. If you were to come up here and change this curve to something like that, you'll notice that it doesn't work anymore but I'll show you a little trick to fix that. All we have to do is link our paths. So if we change one, it'll affect the other one. We'll just undo those last steps. So we have our dash line back again. Let's click down into our line layer until we find the path stopwatch and we'll hold Alt when we click that. That'll bring up the expressions and we can grab the pick whip tool here and drag that to the corresponding path in our dashed layer. So those two are linked now. And if we come up here and try to adjust this path, it should start working very nicely for us. You could also link the stroke width if you wanted to have full control from the one layer. Let's come back up here to the line layer and we'll do our little trick again. Let's hold Alt and click on the stroke width stopwatch. Then we'll grab that pick whip and drag it down to the stroke width in our dashed layer. Now, if we adjust the stroke width, you can see that affects both layers. So now you can go ahead and move this around however you like and it's gonna be a lot easier to work with. And that's about it for this tutorial. As always, if you wanna save a bit of time, you can download the project file, there's a link below. And you can get a whole bunch of extra stuff on our Patreon page. 
Thanks for watching! Let me know what you want to see in the comment section below. Or you can leave a like or dislike. And don't forget to subscribe and click on that little bell icon for more videos and free stuff. Catch you next time!